So some financial personalities are saying that Jerome Powell and the Federal Reserve will increase the federal funds rate by 25 basis points or 0.25% based on what they're seeing with inflation. But what does this mean for the interest that you're earning on your savings account? Well, that's what we're going to talk about today. First, I want you to know that the APY, that annual percentage yield, is actually not directly related to the federal funds rate. You can say that these two are correlated. However, there isn't actually causation, meaning there isn't a direct automatic effect. We actually saw this recently when the Federal Reserve raised rates last time. The APY we were earning on some of our high yield savings accounts actually didn't move much, if at all. And that's because when the Federal Reserve decides to increase or decrease interest rates, then commercial banks ultimately have the choice on whether to follow with the interest rates that they're offering to us consumers on products like the high yield savings accounts that we have. Of course, these commercial banks want to make sure that they're staying as competitive as possible and getting as much money deposited as possible because if they can attract new customers and more money into their network, then they can ultimately make more money by taking your deposits and loaning that money charging a higher interest rate than what they're giving you and also keeping that money with the Federal Reserve likely earning a higher interest than the one that they're offering you. So either way, the interest we get through a high yield savings account or a CD or a T-bill for that matter probably won't change much if at all. Maybe 10 to 25 basis points, maybe 0.10%, 0.25%, but I lean toward the lower side of that range. However, I am curious in the next week and a half or so to see what Jerome Powell and the Federal Reserve will do. Perhaps they will raise rates by 25 basis points, which could definitely increase the APY you see on your high yield savings account. But if banks want and even need to earn more profit, well, look for the APY on your savings account to remain where they're currently at. This is why I continue to lean on the education of investing in low-cost broad-based index funds in ETFs. I mean, the S&P 500 in this year is up over 17%. So let's say you had $10,000 in a high-yield savings account that was offering a 5% APY at the beginning of the year. Now, at this point in the year, you would probably have a little over $250. But that $10,000 invested in an ETF like VTI or VOO would give you a bit over $1,700. $1,700 versus $250. I think we all understand what choice we would make if we could go back in time. This is why personal finance education is so important. And the video on the screen will help you build wealth the right way. Check it out and I'll see you over there. Peace.